Uh, President Trump returned to the White House last night from Walter Reed Medical Center. And Eamon Javers is standing by with more on his message to America about the coronavirus. Eamon, we heard plenty from the president. Yeah, we absolutely did, Kelly. And it was really striking and dramatic scenes yesterday as we saw the president walking out of Walter Reed under his own power, which was a good sign. The president dressed in a suit and tie, uh, walking to Marine One uh, and taking off for the short flight from uh, Walter Reed down to the White House. Once he arrived at the White House, we saw this dramatic moment where the president actually walked up the steps to the White House balcony and then stood and, and posed for pictures at the top of the balcony, allowing Americans to see that he's standing on his own two feet. He appears uh, to be fine, although doctors say uh, he's not out of the woods just yet. They say he's going to have his fifth dose of remdesivir at the White House today, and he's going to be monitored by White House physicians. They have a top-notch medical team at the White House. All of that will be happening over the next uh, five days or so. They say it won't be until Monday uh, that they'll be able to breathe that final sigh of relief, as they call it. So uh, something to watch there. The president uh, recording a short video uh, saying that Americans shouldn't be afraid of the coronavirus, that he has seen it and he understands it and he doesn't want it to dominate Americans' lives. Meanwhile, how is all of this affecting the presidential campaign? Well, we put a poll in the field on Friday night. This was right after the president was admitted to Walter Reed. Uh, we, we started polling Americans in battleground states. This is between October 2nd and October 4th, so a couple days uh, in the wake of the president's hospitaliz hospitalization to get a sense of how this is all impacting it. Here's the headline number. If you look at the support for the two candidates in these battleground states, 50 percent Biden, 45 percent Donald Trump. So that's a, a substantial lead there for Joe Biden in these battleground states. It's smaller than his lead nationally, which is about 10 points in our polling, five points in the battleground states that are going to be the hardest fought. Take a look at serious concerns about COVID. Those are jumping higher, up to 72 percent now by October 3rd. And you see that spike up uh, since September 3rd. Uh, that's an interesting uh, bit of movement there because it's not what the president necessarily would want ahead of the election. And then in terms of who's taking more appropriate personal precautions, uh, this is overwhelmingly Joe Biden, 75 percent Biden, 39 percent Trump. So as you look at this, what you're seeing is a race where Joe Biden is consolidating a lead uh, in the wake of the president's hospitalization and in the wake of that debate last week. Uh, we'll see whether there are other events over the next month here that in the final stretch can change the calculus. Uh, the president's going to hope that he can do that by displaying strength and recovery from the virus. And then we're going to see that vice presidential debate on Wednesday night. So a lot more still to come. There's still some time here for the president, but the trend line uh, is not where the president's people would like it to be right now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.